Once you've started the software, click on the new project, give the appropriate name to the new project, set the proper units and press OK. The next step is usually to set the material properties. Open the new material dialog box, define the new material name, afterwards specify the material properties in the epsilon and mu fields, choose a color for the material and press OK. The first construction step for modeling a planar structure is usually to define the substrate layer. This can be easily achieved by creating a brick made up of substrates material in the box geometry section. The material settings of the brick must be changed to the desired substrate material. Enter the values of x1, y1, z1, length x, length y, length z, change the material and press OK. The next step is to model the ground plane on top of the substrate. Therefore you should again do the same process, create a new box geometry, enter the values of x1, y1, z1, length x, length y, length z, change the material settings and press OK. The next step is to model the transmission line above the substrate. Therefore we need to repeat the same process. For the dimensions of the ground plane below substrate you should design the ground plane brick and provide the transversal coordinates. So enter the values of x1, y1, z1, length x, length y, length z and press OK. The next step is to model the second ground plane on top of the substrate. Therefore, we need to repeat the same process again. For the dimensions of the first ground plane over substrate, you should design the coplanar waveguide. So enter the values of x1, y1, z1, length x, length y, length z and press OK. Again we need to model the ground plane below the substrate. So we need to provide the values of transversal coordinates. Enter the values of x1, y1, z1, length x, length y, length z and press OK. The next step is to add the ports to the coplanar waveguide device for which the S parameters will later be calculated. Each port will simulate coplanar waveguide that is connected to the structure at the port's plane. Voltage ports are the most accurate way to calculate the S parameters of a coplanar device and should thus be used here. So pro after providing the values of x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 and changing the port parameters we need to provide the values for the second port also
so we need to provide the values of second port like x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 change the port parameters and press ok now we need to provide the values of zmax for the surrounding space so open the dialog box and provide the values for zmax next after doing so we need to provide the values of zmin in the boundary condition setup box now next step is the solver settings for this go to the solver and pressing by pressing it a setup box will open provide the various settings as per the formula and press okay now you need to save the project before we can simulate it so click on the file menu save the project give an appropriate name to the project and press the save button finally start the simulation go to the solver and press the simulation button to start the calculation a progress bar will appear in the status bar which will display some information about the solver stages once it has been completed you can review the results 